hey, welcome to the Contra race, and we got, I got to stage 5 of the game, and then I did a tactical death, and that's kind of karma for being cheap, because I died. <laughs> I, no, I exited the game by accident. Yep. Uh, okay. So now, now this is the real race. You know what, and I'm happy. Like I said, <laughs> the I'm true happy. final battle finally begins. I'm, I'm actually, I, I'd rather, if I win now, I'd rather win this way than the other way, because... Because now it would be an actual true victory instead of just, like, cheapness. <laughs> because what happened is he got unlucky, he got, like, stuck in a crappy spawn location. Pretty much. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Now if I now it'll be and now I feel like I'm much better at the game from playing it for a while. Red shot. So like I, I haven't even died yet. Uh, I died once. Yeah, I mean I I'm playing more cautious, so that could be a blessing or a curse. No, I don't want the laser. Oh ah dang it! Well, now I have to take uh, the laser. I'm, I'm happy with the machine gun. Never okay, so uh, well because okay he'll probably. He's gonna, yeah, release this as, like, a lost episode. Okay, first death. Okay. Like, the lost like, Contra episode. So we were, we were talking about, like, the whole elephant in the room, Konami. Yeah, and how I spent point. a whole day figuring out, like, okay, Konami's Konami now. What's never coming out ever again? Uh, I, I mean, you know what? If I'm being honest, I'm happy we still technically have Castlevania and Panther busy week. Yeah, but, busy. yeah, but then I stop and go... No more Suikoden. <laughs> oh, oh, you know, they might still do Suikoden. They might do a mobile might, game or a pachinko machine. It might be, it might be, like, obscure enough where they're not gonna, like, make a pachinko machine out of it and just let the guys be. It might be cheap enough, too. I don't know that game that well, so is it kind of like a cheap game? Suikoden, uh, I'm trying to figure out a way to explain that game. Are uh, you on level two? Yeah, uh, I am now, I just beat the boss, but... Okay, so I'm slightly ahead. Uh, Suikoden has a gigantic cast of characters. Okay, but oh, that immensely. Does... How deep are they? Is it like fighting character well, deep? Well, it's or... an old game, so like it's not like super deep, but like the more the newer games like dwell into some of the characters, like backstories and stuff. Uh, not all of them, of course, because like it's sort of like some of the characters are just like, oh yeah, they're. There are characters that you get from places, but other than other than they're just like generic RPG. Like you found yeah. this person in a tavern and they joined you. Cool. Yeah, but that... yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Actually, Actually like that kind of reminds me of a. Well, it reminds you of a game like is it like an RPG? Yeah, it's it's an it's a turn-based RPG with like a of a gigantic cast to choose from. I mean, it kind of sort of reminds me at least of the painful RPG in the way that you get like. All these different types of party members, but yeah, but I feel like I? a it's an RPG and b trying to make a sweep it in in this day and age, especially when like most of the budget goes into like graphics and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's not. Yeah, that, that's that's probably still mar like look at the indie game market. Yeah, I mean like yeah, there's still like people that will make like sneak it in <laughs> like like the yeah, knockoff you, version of it you know what i am perfectly content well i'm especially excited for ukulele because i i that was the first kickstarter i ever like put money into because i'm like banjo kazooie my one of my favorite games of all time and i'm happy because the more it goes on like the more like the original rare team comes on so it's basically just a banjo kazooie game only not a name yeah I mean, I've never played Banjo Kazooie, so I never got like the whole, like big appeal to it. It's just uh, I'll, I'll explain. It's just, it's just a happy game. It's just a colorful, like fun, like everything about this is just, like loving. It's hard to explain. You just gotta play it. Like it, it's. Well, I can appreciate fun. that because out of all the games that have come out recently, I can only think of like Senran Kagura. That's like this game's happy and it wants to be happy. Yeah. Games aren't happy anymore. Yeah, yeah, I'm, that's why I'm excited for ukulele. Even because... Pokemon's gotten depressing. Yeah, oh, you know, to be, you know what, to be honest, Pokemon, it hasn't gotten too depressing. Play, have, you mean, play, have you played the end game for Pokemon X and Y? Yes, I have, and it's nothing that different from, like, the other end games of Pokemon. I guess, but still... Where they bring on the apocalypse. 
No, not like Apocalypse, but like just that whole scene with. I, oh god, I, I haven't played X and Y since it came out, so like three years ago, so yeah. I forget the girl's name. But it's like the homeless girl with the Esper. Oh. I, I forget her name, but yeah. Oh, uh, oh, remember? Oh, AZ was kind of depressing too. Yeah, AZ, God. <laughs> He's like, okay, well, I killed a lot of people because. And now I'm forever stuck much. here looking for my Pokemon that just left because it That just upset left me. because I'm a monster. Oh, holy crap, it was like Undertale before Undertale. <laughs> Actually, that's probably what inspired Toby Fox. He's like, he saw that game and he's like, all oh, this because of a flower? I got an idea. <laughs> uh, even though it was like, in an interview, Toby was just like, no, I saw like SMT and like the aspect of like talking to the enemy yeah. and like having them join you kind of appealed to me. And which, obviously, yeah. But I, like, that SMT is a very niche series, so hearing anyone pop I mean, or say the name <laughs> makes me feel better. Actually, about, it's like, kind of funny, because SMT is a niche series, but, like, the game, its spin-off is more popular. Yeah, I think that's the only, like, I think that's the only instance of where that's ever no, happened. No, 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 there's another, I'd argue there's another instance, Half-Life The Portal. Like, even though Half-Life's still really popular... I'd say Portal's kind of overshadowed it. I guess Portal is sort of like a sequel. Yeah, because people... Well, spin -off people... Because of the whole, like... I look, look, I've it's played called, but, like, a, a ship that was in Portal 2 that, like, people are just like, that's oh, that's, Half -Life the, that's the ship from Half-Life. No, yeah. I, I really hope when Half-Life 3 comes out that Cave Johns does someone as a cameo. That'd make me... You know, because to be fair, I, I've only played, like, a bit of the first Half-Life, and then my computer just said, nope. I, I I'm not gonna play this anymore. Yeah, I so. played I played Portal 2 on my PS3. I never played the original Portal, but I've seen like uh, a playthrough of it. Yeah, it's a short game, but it's a great game. Yeah. But, like I think that's also the thing. Like, Half Life's a good game, but it's kind of just a standard shooter for the yeah. most part. For the most part, and then you get I'm, the end of Half Life One. And it's just like, why is there a demented baby shooting things at me? I, I mean, it's kind of because it's sort of like a. Uh, it, 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 it's it's kind of like a tech demo I've read. Like, Half-Life 3 won't come out. It will probably be like an Oculus Rift, like, VR thing. Because Half-Life is always... Half-Life's more like a tech demo. Yeah, like, because, like, Gabe Newell always says, we're not releasing Half-Life 3 until, like, the like things change in the gaming industry. Yeah. Like, they, they want it to be a tech demo. Like, for the first game, I think it was, like, graphics or stuff. This, the second so, like, game... So, like, everybody that's just like, when's Team Fortress 3? When's Portal 3? Like, they'll make it... It's yeah, you know, gaming industry. Would you rather have Team Fortress 3 or would you rather them keep updating Team Fortress 2? I'm fine with them updating Team Fortress 2. I just wish my. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see it. the argument of them not wanting to do it so the game, like, stays consistent, but. They put, like, a lot of love. Still now, P TF2 is, like, the biggest. And you know what? Screw it. They, they have Portal 3. It's in the biggest, game. um, like, free to play game. You know what, he, there's the biggest example of why Portal 2 is overshadowed Half-Life. Even though they do reference Half-Life in LEGO Dimensions. <laughs> they do reference Half-Life in it from what I've seen, but... they just like... But GLaDOS is... They have GLaDOS talking to friggin' HAL 9000, like the most famous computer of all time. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah, I guess it is because Portal clicked with more people because of its personality. Well, yeah, like, like Half-Life... Half-Life's good, but it's, 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 I mean, it's a good game, it's definitely different than a lot of yeah, shooters like, out there. The being like, seen, like, the themes and, like, the settings and everything are pretty good, it's just that, like, the dialogue's kind of stilted, and, like, yeah, Gordon is not as even close to being as charismatic as Wheatley. He, he's kind of, he's kind of like Mario, Gordon's kind of like Mario, and, like, yeah. And to be fair, like, Shell isn't nothing to, to like, I, I mean, I Shell's, I, I, I like Shell, well, I like Shell better than Gordon, because at least, Show kind of has a personality through how Glados treats her. Yeah. <laughs> and with Gordon, everyone's least, like, "Oh, least, you're, the, you're the best, Gordon. You're the best." Like, at least Shell we know is like, "Oh, she's an orphan, and she does yeah. stuff in the con." Like she kind of plus it's the fact that she's always insulted that makes her kind of like more interesting to like. Because you're like, you know she's going through crap, and then with Gordon, he goes through crap, and he's like, Hey, Gordon, you're the best. You'll be our Jesus. <laughs> and now I'm on my last I am Jesus, to quote Nostalgia Craig. Uh, what stage are you at? I'm at the boss, but I only have one life left, so... Uh, what stage? Uh, I think four. Yeah, I'm at the second base, too. 
I like how through that entire conversation, none of us were just like, okay, so what stage are we at? Okay, can I do this on one life? Nope, I can't. How many lives do you have left? I got two lives left. Okay, so I'm... I'm comfortable with this because, I, no offense, I'm gonna assume you're gonna die and restart the stage. <laughs> Who knows, I'm, I might be able to... Yeah, you might be able to pull through. Because to be fair, I played the boss, it's actually not that bad if you're paying attention. Uh, you know what, I kinda like it about the- I mean, sometimes the enemy placement is jerk, it's but The bosses so far don't seem that bad. Yeah. Except on stage 5, there was one boss type thing that that's, was like really That's sort weird. of like something with Battletoads too, where it's just like, Oh, the stage, most of the time, isn't bad. It's just, like, the environment and or, yeah. uh, the boss. Yeah, well, actually, the, the boss of this stage specifically, like, once I figured out what- once I pay attention to the patterns, it's not that bad. Yeah. Like, of course, there are, like, um, in Battletoads, there's, like, Rat Race, the Turbo Tunnels, like, that's- Oh, yeah. That stuff's just, like, the environment hates you. Oh, God, I love- I love that Battletoads is forever, like, is in Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That uh, they- I mean, Kratos, Kratos is cool, but hell yeah, Battletoads and Shovel Knight. I... Oh, did you also- did you also see, uh, a costume they released for, uh, Rash and Killer Instinct? No. Where he's- where he wears a conker hoodie and has, like, Banjo's backpack and shorts. Oh, god. It's- it's amazing. Speaking and then people said, this is a better conker Young design. conker, uh... You know what, I'm- I- 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 I mean, you know what, actually, no. Screw that game, because it's like, the- Xbox small class thing or whatever, screw that. Yeah, but, but uh I think I think my issue with that isn't that the fact that they oh they just keep playing Conquer and stuff. Is that the fact that they don't use the like, characters except for cameos and stuff. Well you know well here's the thing, they're not using it as a cameo, they're giving him his game. They're like we have to I know it's but kind of, like, that's why I feel like I, th I feel like the first instance of this was like the whole Project Spark thing where it's just like, oh yeah. it's been a, it's been a while since I've had a game. Guess we're gonna have to make our own. Yeah, but but you know what? I think the weird thing is, I think it would be good if Nintendo and Microsoft teamed up. As weird as it sounds, for a console because Nintendo, Xbox knows how to make like a more powerful console, and it is good at making games. Well, it's good at supporting. We'll get the support of like third parties and stuff. But uh, and Nintendo has the IPs and the ideas. <laughs> Yeah, IPs and the ideas, which are big things if you're gonna convince people to like buy a console. Like I brought a Wii U because I'm like, okay, I want Smash, and every every Wii U game I have, I love. Like every That's first the, like party that, game like, is good. The weird thing about the Wii U is like, yeah, it's 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 like a Hindenburg of money, but. Yeah. <laughs> thematically, like every single game that's come out for that console is good. Yeah. Like, superb. Like that, that's the thing about, like, even, even the games I don't, even, that's the thing about Nintendo, they're pretty consistent with good games. Even Sticker Star, which I hate, it, I can't argue that's not a good game, it's not a polished game. Yeah. Like, I, I could complain that's like, it's not the game I want, but it's still, like, a good game. Yeah, I can, you know, like, since we brought it up, I realize, like, the whole thing with, like, Federation Force and Color Splash. I'm not blind to the aspect that people want, like, a normal game. Yeah. But I still okay, feel, but I still feel like that if people want like a new game, you know, see what you know what the other spectrum has in store. Because yeah. I know for a, I know for a long time, for the longest time, in fact, uh, I never played any of the Kirby spinoffs because I was just like, well, you can't use copy abilities. What's the point? Yeah. And then I played like Kirby Air Ride and like yeah. uh, Cur Canvas Curse and Mass Attack, and I love those games. Yeah, but I had thing, that. You can love the... uh, I had that just like mindset because it's like, oh, it's not like normal, whatever. Like I want, so there's no point to play it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's that. It's like the mindset where you gotta be like open to, like to be fair, if you play it and you don't like, like I, I can see the Paper Mario thing where people and I don't like the Paper Mario where it's stolen, but I'm like, you know what? If it's a good game. Sure, I like it if you want. I, I can't play it because I just, I'm sorry, I just have too much like of a bad taste in my mouth when I think of it, but... Yeah, I guess. I, I can't, if people enjoy it, I, I can't get mad at them. Because, to be fair, I'm actually excited for Federation Force. 
I'm like, holy shit, more Metroid Universe. I'm getting that game day one, especially after yeah. seeing what they showed off in the Japanese Direct. Yeah. But I... funny enough, I'd like to point something out. Uh, it's weird that they showed more footage to, like, two of the games that people, like, like were more iffy about in the Direct. Because, like... Uh, oh, what, what games? Like, in Color Splash, they show, like, something that they didn't show off in the American Direct is that, like, the reaction commands from, like, Thousand Year Door are back in battle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Like, oh, okay. they showed I a mean... clip of, like, Mario running up to an enemy, and then, like, the little, the little bar shows up. And, like, oh, you hold it excellent. far enough, then, like, you get, like, the, the lights light up, and it's, like, okay. excellent pops up when he hits the well, enemy. Well, guess what? I'm kind of weird, like, people where I really don't care about the gameplay too much. Uh, okay. Like, I'll, like, if it has a, like, the weird thing is, I'd rather it be a good story than, like, a, than, like, the classical game. Okay. By the way, I'm at stage five now. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm there, too. I think I'm ahead Snow of you. Snowfield. Jesus Christ, okay. <laughs> Yeah, oh, oh there, there's like a mid-boss in the level that's kind of weird, you, you'll know when you get to it. I think no, I'm talking about to me just walking, I'm just like, I'm, I'm walking, and then this random person in a turn just shoots me in the face, I'm like, okay, then, then let me know how this stage is gonna play out. Damn it, well, what is, what's up with this truck? Like, this is the truck, I don't know what the deal with it is. See, it is seems like it's like an instant, Sonic like, too? type suck. Sonic Adventure 2. Oh no, yeah, no, it's like, it, when you get to the snowplow, or whatever, it's a spike snow plow. You'll see what it is. Mr. Plow, that's my name. That name again is Mr. Plow. I don't think yeah. I've ever seen an episode of Simpsons, but I know that quote. Yeah, uh, th that's the thing about Simpsons. You even haven't seen it, you've seen it. <laughs> like, you know, you know something from it. I, I actually had, like, the Simpsons video game for, like, PS3. Uh, wasn't that like the the Grand Theft Auto like game? God, no, but there is like a Grand Theft Auto themed level where it's like itchy and scratchy. The, okay, the thing about this game is the whole gimmick is like eventually it just becomes a uh, a game about going into different other video game genres. Uh, wait, so you said for PS3? Uh, yeah, I think it's for Xbox too. It's, okay, it's for okay, so I'm I was thinking of uh, Hit and Run. Yeah, Hit and Run. Yeah. Hit and run, yeah, but there, there's in the Simpsons game, like, or later in the game, you just go into different levels based on, like, different video game themes and genres, and one of them was, like, an itchy and scratchy Grand Theft Auto world. <laughs> Which, it was kind of funny. And then, like, Poochie is the final boss. Poochie! <laughs> yeah. It's an interesting game. I think, I think it was pretty okay. It's nothing amazing. It was kind of annoying. Stage 6. Energy zone. Okay, yeah, you're way ahead of me. I just got to that snowplow. You no, know I'm, I'm gonna be that. a dick if you attack full death. <laughs> which it might give you an advantage. Okay, there it is again. There it is again. Nine. Boop, Eight. Boop, 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 seven. Six. Yeah, for invincibility frames. Yeah. And just get yeah, shot rock, by another uh, turret. I need to start getting, like... I'm a dick! I need to start getting used to just, like, looking out for these guys. Three. Oh, trees. More grenades. Two. Just in case I'm making a save state. Just in case I accidentally quit the game like an idiot. <laughs> One. Oh, and stage six. Energies are... You know what, yeah, I'm doing a tactical death, but if you want to do it, dude, fine. Because, to be fair, it's kind of a risk versus reward thing, because I'm giving him more time to catch up, too. I guess, yeah, but at the same time, I have two lives left. Okay, well, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. Sorry, that's, that's just the way the race goes. No spaceship. <laughs> And then, yeah, and you might think we're cheap for doing the Konami code, but if you want to see, like, a six-hour race, do Go it yourself. somewhere else. <laughs> do it yourself. <laughs> do it yourself. Do it yourself, Wario. Wario, yeah, oh, I love that game. Like, people say, oh, it's the new Mario Paint spin-off that we've been waiting for, and I'm like, what about that game? Wait, what, is, is that, like, a... Oh, that's, that's a dick move. That is a dick move. Stupid, oh, that flamethrower. That just like. Ah. 
that was a dick move. That that flame throw in like energy zone is a dick move. Oh my god, no. It's putting me in a death loop. It's actually just putting me in a it was actually just putting me in a death loop. Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff on screen right now. I wait, can I can I even get out of it? Oh god, okay. I oh god, so. I don't even think I can get to that. Okay, that was Okay, this level is being a dick to me. Okay, let me make sure not to die and keep this. And I died immediately after I said that, god dang it. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, back to uh, happy things. What were you gonna do with yourself? How many hours did you spend in that game? Uh, <laughs> several. <laughs> Let's say that much. Because I don't have an accurate time since. Yeah. Yeah, it was a while uh, ago. How many games did you make? Uh, like 40, 50, probably yeah. more, way more than that. But like, yeah, like the aspect of like making your own WarioWare game was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Uh, uh, even though I used to kind of just steal, I, I used to just like take the normal games and switch around the assets because I was lazy. I like how. Um... Well, not like, but I find I find it funny that some people, especially nowadays, are going like, "Oh, Nintendo doesn't know what to do with franchises." Go back to Wario, like. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. That that series went from a generic platformer to like a Metroidvania to a mini game party, like. Just... To one of the only good virtual boy games. <laughs> oh god! Like. Yeah. Oh god. I also like how people are just like, man, the Wario games are weird. Like, it's like oh, like that—that's the point. It's like yeah, peng penguins with balls, and then you get hit with the balls, and then like Wario gets like dizzy, and they're just like, oh. no. Turns out in the Japanese version, that was replaced with beer. Oh, penguins really? just throwing beer at Wario, and he was getting drunk. Oh god, I love the I love the boss of like the Energy Zone. He's just <laughs> a big buff guy. He he actually reminds well. I was, I was like on a train ride from college the other day and I was playing Gunman Clive. Ooh, I have. Subs told me about that game. I need to try yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's really cheap too. I think it's only like two bucks. It's two dollars. Like it's one i nine, which is. Yeah, it, again, it's like for some people that like they look at that and just like, I guess this game means absolutely nothing to. No, no, it's the people. It's good. But no, it's just like the creator going. What's the price people want to pay for a good game? Yeah, and then it's a nice. Just like, and then you're just like, you know, let's go with like, uh, like an app at a uh, um in in um. No, Apple even Store. cheaper than well, no, probably the more expensive than an app. But yeah, it's all about the price of an app. If it's I mean, normal app like a dollar, but still, like it has that that mind. The creator had that mindset of just like, let's make it States. as cheap as possible so that more people would buy it. Which is a mindset that I wish a lot of game developers had. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, okay, even though uh, I love Kojima, that whole thing with Ground Zeroes was still pretty scummy. Well, that might have been Konami. Wait, what did he do? Uh, I think, yeah, it probably was Konami, but it was basically, like, Ground Zeroes was basically the prologue. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, to be fair, that's like... And they were just like, hey, $3, I dollars, please. Oh, okay, from what I know, there's also still a lot of content in that game. Yeah, there is, but it's like it's not forty dollars. Like, even though it's like, yeah, oh yeah, okay, good point. Now I'm in energy zone, yay! <laughs> and I'm in the level after the energy zone. <laughs> so we, I, I can't think believe I'm one. I, think I, I can't know. believe I'm winning the contra race. The contra race. Oh uh, boy. <laughs> This is this is my first time ever playing this level ever. Like I don't think I've ever gotten past like level three. Dude, to be fair, this is my first time playing this game. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh yeah. But you said you played Con like through. I a played Contra Four, which is to be fair, I'm looking at the I'm looking at it and like I'm remembering some of the level. If this Contra Four was pretty much a remake of this game. Yeah. Wasn't that also made by Way Forward? Yeah. Which Way Forward's amazing. Yeah. Way Forward basically, like, yeah, yeah. I love love Way Forward. Like I'm kind of. I can't wait for Half Genie here. Okay, I see what you mean with this flamethrower. Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, I, I kept trying to jump, and then, you know how levels, like, give you, like, how, like, the Mario levels, they give you, like, stuff where you won't, you won't, like, uh, die if you, like, Jesus Christ, jump. okay. Th I'm... This is, like, the opposite. It's, like, he kills you to teach you about the mechanic. This isn't even killing you to teach about the mechanic. This is just, like, hey, 
Let's put turret guys and a random dude, and also let's put a flamethrower that mo that spreads out when you jump. Yeah. Try and find an opening somehow. Can I grab onto this? No, I can't. This is not Contra Three. I can't grab onto stuff like a cool guy. It's cool guy. Hey, cool guy! <laughs> Why cool guy? Why? What are you doing, Waddle Dooters? <laughs> Wait, have you ever seen Cool Guy 2? No. <laughs> oh, okay, just, I'm not gonna spoil anything about it. Just after this, watch Cool Guy 2. <laughs> Into the funk. After this, I have to watch anime. Because I have a oh, list yeah. that I need to go through. Actually, yeah, I got it. Well, I only have one anime I'm focusing on. Jojo. Yeah, well, yeah, Jojo. Like, that shows. I, I, I think I'm in the middle of an episode because I could just. I lost my internet in the middle of it, but oh my wow. god. Wow! This is the most bullcrap I've seen in a long time. God, I hope you can't wait to see my screen, cause Jesus Christ, that's dumb. Yeah, that, that is, level's kinda bullshit. This level's not as bad, like, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it, because if you're good and you watch the patterns of the hazards... No, but dude, you're gonna see my screen yeah, and you're oh, gonna yeah. go, the okay, how was is... I, how were you ever supposed to do anything with that? Uh, okay, later on, there's actually some flamethrower puzzles that I'm fine with, because it's about timing instead of being like, yeah, no, hey, I that you walked now, into it. I was at the, like, the one before, again, with the pit thing. Like, I got a game over and I had to oh, go... Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. I'm on my last two, three Like, lots. these ones are fine. This is just timing. But the other one was just like, oh, don't jump. And then, and then I also had another thing with it. Oh, it spawns you at such a weird place. It spawned me in the air above a pit, and because I was, like, blinking with invisibility yeah, frames, yeah. I couldn't, like, like, like... Die, 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 die. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, yes, I beat a boss with three lives. <laughs> oh god, that was nerve-wracking. Stage 8, Alien's Lair. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, wait, what were you saying? Well, yeah, like, just, you're, you'll see when, when this goes Yeah, up. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> And tactical death. And if you see me doing like a save state, I'm not doing it to like cheat and stuff. I'm just doing it only at the beginning of a level. Just so if I do like my stupid quit the game thing, you don't have to start over. Yeah. So that, that's why you're seeing that if you do that. I'm only using it in the worst case scenario where I like screw up. So that so if that does happen, it'd be like me getting an instant game over anyway. And you can do that too if you want. Yeah. Just for the sake of time. I mean, it's better than, like, me and Piku's Sonic thing where we were, like, bargaining. Yo, oh. Okay, this is just straight up a Xenomorph. <laughs> but... Did I ever tell you about the first time I ever saw Alien? No. Uh... I don't know. I don't know why, but when you said that, it's just straight up a xenomorph. It just reminded me of the Kid Icarus quote. It's like, you know, those tomatoes look like Metroids. <laughs> yeah. So I'm sorry. Like, someone just walked into the room and I had to stop for a second. And because of that, I lost my machine gun against the xenomorph. Machine gun. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can see you. Oh, that's sorry. yeah. I see the buff guy you're just talking about who's throwing frisbees at me. Damn it. Not a good time to check recordings. Ah. Uh, yeah, it would remind me of a boss from Dungeon Crawl. Well, because there's a big buff, buff guy with like a uh, minigun. Which is actually a pretty good boss because of the pattern. Well, actually that's a good thing about the game, because... I was playing through in hard mode because lately I've been getting into the habit of like playing games in hard mode by default. So I won't ever do that. <laughs> yeah, it's like Metal Gear Rising... I'm playing... Yeah, but, like, you're playing, playing like, mode. guys, just, just a note. He's playing Fire Emblem Conquest on hard. On casual. But still on hard. hard. Yeah. So, which kind of makes the game harder in some ways, because you need to, like, watch everyone's experience and make sure they're actually getting experience. You're not just... Which is not as bad anymore, because I actually brought the DLC where you can get experience. Yeah. Ew, I didn't know that defeating a boss gives you an extra life. Actually, I don't think I've progressed in this story for at least, like... Uh, no, I got an extra life. I, I think it just depends on- I think there's like a point system, actually. Because I just killed this, like, enemy and it gave me an extra life. Uh, okay. So I think it's like one of those things where if you get, like, a certain amount of points, like, invisible points that are not seen, you just get extra point. 
No, no instant death, damn it. Screw you. So I'm at stage uh, seven, I think it is. I'm at the hangar. Yeah. There's spikes everywhere. Are there any ends? Spiked wall man, Mega Man's nemesis. Yeah, that'd be a good boss. Oh god, that'd be Mega Man's ultimate nemesis. Like, it's just an instant There's a room full of instant death spikes. Yeah, you just walk into the room and die. <laughs> like, it's just unbeatable. Wily's just watching from his computer room, he's like, How come I didn't do that earlier? That was so easy. Yeah. Just make a robot covered in that shoots, like, insta-kill spikes. <laughs> that's, well, that's Why a... is Mega Man's weakness spikes anyway? I don't know. That, 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 that never made sense to me. To be fair, like, a lot of things back then didn't really make that much I, sense. I know, like, with Mario and, like, Sonic, if they hit spikes, they just get hurt, but with Mega Man, he just he's instant... What, what, the logic should be, like, because he's a robot in metal, spikes shouldn't even really affect him. I can't even destroy Like, are they, like, electrified, or... Nope. Probably electrified. That's just very sense. pokey. Yeah. Is that- I'm sure there's like a comic or something that explains it. Yeah, like, there are like Mega Man comics in the same way there are Sonic comics, but like, I don't think anyone's read them. Uh, like, actually, just... I'm in another- I'm in another chat where like, someone's crazy for them. Uh. So. I, I like, I'm- Hey, uh, plug fanfickle, we're gonna do a Mega Man comic dub, and I'm not doing it, someone else is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I'm- because I'm the resident weeaboo of the group, I just read manga. <laughs> yeah. I don't really do... Wait, I think I just beat the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I just... I was like, okay, I'm shooting the alien heart all casually. I beat... I, I Yeah, I beat the game. Whoa. Okay, I just... <laughs> that was, I just was casually talking. I didn't even know that was the fun. In hindsight, in that irate gamer video... I do remember him complaining about it. It's funny hard. because I also just got a game over. I've destroyed the vile Red Falcon and saved the universe. Consider uh, yourself a hero. Yeah, so there was actually a limit on continues because I'm back at the title screen now. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, they, just, so they just never pointed it out. But yeah, I so... eat Contra before breakfast, technically. <laughs> like, yeah. All the times before breakfast. I guess oh. that's... I guess that's it. This, this is literally just a big filler thing hey, because we're face trying... it. Breakfast is ruined. <laughs> This is really just a big filler race because we're trying to make sure, like, the scheduling for Pokemon in Undertale gets back underway. I'd love to do something like that again. Just play a random, like, retro game that I've never played before and see how I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> so check out next time when we play Ghost to Goblin. <laughs> yeah, oh god, no, no, no! <laughs> and, then, uh, and then, like, just ten minutes late, I'm just done. <laughs> just uh, quit. I got the shield guy, I, I, the shield's good, and oh, hey, look, I beat the game. Sick. Presented by Konami. Uh, yes. <laughs> I beat Satan, everybody. Yeah. I mean, it was easy. It wasn't that bad. I don't know what the big fuss is. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's a plan devised by Satan. Go back and beat the game again. It's like, yeah. No, we're just gonna end the race there. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I, I rate Gamer or Chris Boys of my... Oh, wait. I, Chris Boy, well, and the game just restarts, oh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it, I guess. I didn't know that game was that easy. It's very, like, NES games I mean, I'm short. sure it's hard if you don't have 30 lives. <laughs> the NES games are really short, and, like, they, they, they were just made hard just so, like, the length for them would be extended. Yeah. But, like... Yeah, if you're really good at games... Uh, I think this is the first race I've actually ever won on this channel. <laughs> uh, what races were you in, actually? Not that many, though. I was in uh, Mega Man 2. I know you were in the Castle Crasher. Were you in the Castle Crasher? No, no, Crash I wasn't. I was the editor in the Castle Crasher. Right, you were the editor. You were in the Mario World race, but that got... Oh, and that... You know, I think that race is dead, if I'm being honest. Yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll probably think of something else to do on the spot. Yeah. Until next time, see you guys then. Bye. Face it, breakfast is ruined.